Hey, Pom Pom Gang, welcome back to the Pom Pom Sisters YouTube channel. And if you are new to our channel, hey, how you doing? I am the mother of the three beautiful Pom Pom Sisters, and this is the oldest one, Kalia. So, of course, we are doing a protective style for Kalia's hair. I was watching the NAACP Image Awards, and Jill Scott killed it and this was her look as well as she sung she, she killed it when she was singing too so this look absolutely had me blown away i loved everything about it and i just knew it was like the perfect fit for kalia when i saw it i was like yeah i'm gonna have to recreate this on kalia so i'm starting on kalia's uh pre-stretched hair um her hair is already pre-stretched from a previous style that we did on her hair and we're going to try to recreate this look so lately I have been into creating these celebrity lookalikes um, for natural hair. We did one on Lonnie's type 2 wavy hair. We recreated Sierra's melanin look, what she did for the Fault magazine cover shoot. And I mean, absolutely adorable. I love the entire Sierra shoot and Lonnie pulled that look off great. So if you haven't seen that, the link will be down in the description bar for you guys to click on. So Kalia kind of fell asleep on me. As you can see, she's kind of nodding there. This was kind of late at night. I was trying to prep her hair and get it ready for the next school day. So I have one side done. As you can see, what we're trying to recreate. And we're pretty much going to do the same thing on the other side. Doing the same exact thing. So I'm going to part her hair first right across the ear. Because this is where we're going to put the three feed-in braids. Now I chose to do feed-in braids. If you don't care for using... Um, braiding hair you can definitely just use the natural hair to do these corn rolls but I chose to do it with the feed-ins because I really wanted that entire look and Kalia's hair isn't as long and full as the back of her hair so I'm going to show you guys how to achieve these feed-in braids three very simple feed-in braids just some background on Kalia's hair she is a type 3 curly hair she is mixed with black and filipino i am black and her father is filipino she is one of the three of the pom pom sisters she's my oldest child i have three daughters so natural hair care is definitely a big thing in our house we try to make sure we find the perfect products for all textures and curl patterns all three of my girls include even including myself we all have different curl patterns, different textures, so it requires different methods on caring for their hair. So right here, I'm just uh, prepping my braiding hair. I only add three pieces of braiding hair to each feed-in braid, and that's just so I can keep it at a nice, natural-looking, uh, you know, you don't want it to be too full. So like if you add too much hair, it makes it look very bulky. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started. I usually braid it down, uh, I do about three or four rotations before I actually start adding in the feeding braid. And um, I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it, my method of adding it. So I wrap the piece around and I in add it in between my index finger and thumb. And then I do a rotation of the hair and then that second half of the braiding hair, I add it to my index finger and thumb, that piece of hair that I'm holding with my index finger and thumb and do another rotation and then we'll pick up another piece of braiding hair and do it again. Now I only add the braiding hair with my left hand. So the only time braiding hair is added is when I'm holding the hair with my left hand. The right hand is just used to pretty much guide the hair to where it's supposed to do, where it's supposed to go. I know that might sound a little confusing, so I'm gonna show it three times um, on how I add the braiding hair. It is really, really simple. A lot of people kind of get caught up on it and think it's, it can be a little difficult, but it is very simple. And I self-taught myself. I didn't really like learn it from anybody. This is just kind of how I learned how to do it, the best way for me to do it. And the reason why I added one uh, side at a time versus adding up both pieces to the hair to the braiding to the corn roll it just looks a lot natural to me like um i just feel like it's easier for me to grip the hair without adding too much hair because i'm not an advanced braider too much hair in my hands can be very difficult to manage so this is just the best way for me to do it without making my braid look sloppy because i feel like doing it other ways my braid ends up looking a little sloppy 
once you've added your three pieces of braiding hair you're pretty much done you're just going to braid it all the way down and we'll finish off the ends by adding some beads we'll show that later in the video we're going to finish up on these feed in braids first and it literally takes no time to do this as you can see this is in real time of me braiding her hair now for the second and third braid i'm going to speed those up a little bit but it is fairly easy it is not difficult at all it just takes some practice and some time to get your technique down and to get your method down and you'll breeze through this so this style took me about 30 to 45 minutes to get it done probably wouldn't took me that long but Kalia kept nodding and falling asleep on me because it was kind of late at night but another simple and cute school day look for her to wear for the week um, and we kept this style in for two weeks and it held up pretty good I did have to go back and redo her puffs a little bit but for the most part the braids held up well her puffs held up well the accessories didn't last the first week so I'll just go ahead and put that out there but I kind of already know that accessories are just are, they're not gonna last long I don't care what kind of accessory you add even the beads didn't even last the first week I had to reapply beads to her braids because baby sister decided to pull on them so um, trying to find styles that will last Kalia at least two weeks is my absolute goal when it comes to doing all of my girls hair I try to keep the hair in simple and easy protective styles because I just hate doing hair every single day so this is just one of the many protective styles that I'll probably be revisiting on Kalia's hair because everyone loved it and she loved it and it looked absolutely adorable on her and it took no time at all Now it is time to add beads to the ends of Kalia's braids. I purchased these beads at my local beauty supply store. This was during the time when the Fulani braids and the Beyonce Lemonade braids were like really trending and very popular. So these are just some uh, wooden beads that I purchased and they fit perfectly for this look so just find some if you can't find some wooden beads find some brown tan beads that'll work just fine um, these are a lot more difficult to work with because the holes on them are so tiny I don't know if that's just because of the brand that I purchased but I make it work so I use a bead threader to add the beads to her hair you can purchase this also at your local beauty supply store at a Sally Beauty at Walmart usually any place that sells beads most bead companies now offer the threader for free it's included in the packet because it just makes life a whole lot easier like I remember being a kid and my mom would have to use foil at the end of the beads uh, or at the end of the braid to add the beads to the hair just to like I don't know what the foil was supposed to do but I remember her using foil to put beads on my braids as a kid so when uh, the bead threader came out it was like the best thing that ever happened so very simple took about two or three minutes to put these beads on and I don't have no particular rhyme or rhythm on putting them on there i just throw them bad boys on there and call it a day and then i add a rubber band to the end of the very last bead to secure it to her braid and now it is time to work on the back of her hair to do her poodle puffs
for Kalia's moisturizer. I spritz her hair down with some water real quick and then I add a leave-in conditioner. I am using the Texture ID Daily Moisturizing Cream. The texture ID is just awesome. Like they just, they just can't do no wrong by me. I love their products and that they're inexpensive is right up my alley. So pr purchasing hair products, of course, in my household is like, it, it's part of the grocery list. Like we have to have hair products. I have four heads in my house that requires, you know, certain needs to care for their textured hair. So Visits to Sally Beauty is definitely a must have and usually almost every month I'm going every month to Sally Beauty to find out what new products they have, what new products to try and to pretty much restock my hair care um, products. So Poodle Puffs are so easy and simple to do like it, it's really just rubber banding the hair down and puffing the hair up into little balls and once her hair dries from it being wet it makes the perfect little poodle puff like the perfect little puff like it's just so cute it, they're absolutely adorable now i originally saw this look created on um someone i follow on instagram i'll put their handler name on i don't know how to pronounce it per correctly so i'm not even going to try to butcher it but um that's where i originally saw the poodle puffs and i've done poodle puffs on kalia as well i'll put that link in the description bar so you can see um how cute poodle puffs really are and this um look i did her entire head into these mini little poodle puffs and they last for a fairly good, you know, at least for a week. They are good to go without me having to, you know, go back in, redo a couple of them. So, um, Jill Scott rocking these poodle puffs at the NAACP Image Awards. I was like raving over. That's probably like the my favorite part about the entire look is that she was wearing these poodle puffs to the Image Awards and she sung her on stage wearing these poodle puffs and I absolutely loved it. It was just all black girl magic and I am here for it. So recreating the this look was like I just had to do it. It was just super cute. So once we are done, I'm tying off the very last poodle puff. Um, and we are going to add these rings, braid rings that I found at my local beauty supply store as well. They were like $2. Now looking at Jill Scott's uh, hairstyle, she had big hoops. And I didn't want to add anything too crazy big on Kalia's hair because she still has to go to school. And I don't want her hair to be a distraction how hair can be a distraction in class is beyond me but whatever so i added these little small ones which was perfect they added the cute and the right amount of accent to her little poodle puffs and i mean we're pretty much done with this look now the hoops you pretty much just open them up close them back together and pray that they stay in there for the time of this duration of her hairstyle but like i said they didn't even make it past the first week which is fine i think right now she has like one or two still holding in there but they're very cute and they're inexpensive so i didn't mind losing them and i had bought two packs just in case she did lose them we could go back and add some more if she wanted to so i only used one pack about eight rings came in a pack so she has about eight um on in her hair as of right now i put four on each side we're gonna gel down her edges take a couple of cute photos and she is good to go this look is done for and I loved it. She loved it. Another successful protective style for kids. As always, thank you, Pom Pom Game, for watching and joining us today on this hair tutorial for protective styles for kids, recreating the Jill Scott NAACP Image Awards look. And we will see y'all on our next one. Peace.